let's talk about OMAD and avoiding spiking your blood sugar after fasting for 20, 23, 24 hours a day. We're learning more and more and more that it's these blood sugar spikes that are causing a lot of people to lose control of their appetite, to constantly crave sugar. Now, to avoid this while eating one meal a day, we are gonna get into it. But first, I wanna share with you my journey. My name is Neela Joy, and I've lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight eating in a one meal a day fasting schedule. This is just a form of time restricted eating. So I would have all of my calories that are calories that are in a calorie deficit, and instead of eating them throughout the day, I ate them within a four hour, sometimes half an hour eating window. The reason I did this was to help make that metabolic switch was to help repair my body from all the damage I had when I was obese. Obesity causes so many metabolic ailments and the key to fighting obesity is learning how to reverse those metabolic ailments. And the OMAD diet was my way of doing it. It helped me. Now you can do this with other diets, but today we're going to talk about OMAD. So let's jump into how to avoid spiking your blood sugar after having it so low while eating one meal a day. Number one, do not break your fast with something sugary. Like the dumbest thing you can do is break your OMAD meal or your OMAD fast with junk food or fast food. Don't do that. You want to be able to keep your blood sugar low. Now you can do this with carbs or without carbs. Now, let me tell you the way you can do it with keto. Obviously, when you eat in a keto way, you're keeping your blood sugar steady. So if you're eating at 80% fat, 20% protein, and your carbs are sparing, that's gonna keep you in a healing fasted state longer. For those of you who wanna enjoy, you know, the rice, the bagel, the starchy carbs, this is how you avoid doing it. You can either break your OMAD fast with a small keto meal, so you can either have like bacon and eggs, or you can make sure that you are sandwiching your meal with lots of protein and lots of fiber, fiber, vegetables. We need to start stuffing our face with vegetables because the vegetables are the key. Fiber helps to curb our glucose spike because again, it helps to feed our gut microbiome, which also plays a role in the entire glucose spike system. So to have a diverse meal, have a meal with some fruits and vegetables, some fiber, have some rice, have a meal with lots of protein. That is key because when we have protein, protein will help level out our glucose levels. Now, let me tell you the hierarchy with foods or macronutrients that spike our glucose levels. So the number one spiker of glucose levels obviously is carbohydrates in the form of sugar. Sugar would be number one, um, those starchy carbs. And then you know, carbohydrates with high, higher like fiber content. So uh, that's why I love the keto breads because the keto breads definitely help like level out my blood sugar. And keto breads are just high fiber breads. I just call them keto breads because that's why they call them keto breads because they have high in fiber. And when you're on ketosis or you're on the keto diet, you don't count your fiber, you count net carbs. So carbohydrates are number one. Number two is protein. And number three is fat. So if you want to avoid spiking your blood sugar, perhaps break your fast with a fatty cut of beef or a fatty cut of pork, my favorite meat, or a fatty cut of salmon. Do that to break your fast. Another way you can help curb that blood sugar spike while eating one meal a day is to perhaps break your fast before you're eating, have some apple cider vinegar, throw in some vinegar. Vinegar has been shown to curb our glucose spikes by 30%. So have a shot of vinegar and then go into eating your meal. If you want to have dessert during your one meal a day, that's okay. But do not break your fast with the dessert. First, have a nice, healthy, balanced meal. Have a meal with lots of fiber. Have your meal with carbs. Have your meal with lots of protein. Have that meal first, and then if you want that cookie, have it afterwards. Or if you want that cake, have it afterwards. The reason why we wanna do this is because when your stomach is full of other macronutrients, it's gonna take longer for the glucose to get into your system. We wanna avoid those glucose spikes. It's because of those glucose spikes, that's why people are craving more food, they're craving more sugar, they're craving 
um, is just completely out of control. So that's the key. And you can take this lesson for when you want to eat throughout the day. You can do the same thing. I did mention in a previous video on how to do that. I'll go over it very quickly here that if you want to learn how to crush those cravings throughout the day, you got to make sure to have lots of protein in the morning or you're having your foods with lots of protein, carbs and fiber. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you made it this far into video, just drop in the word fiber. And I'm sending you guys my love. Take care. Bye.